morning. Hi, folks. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode. We're up at Sparrow Fart again. We are. <laughs> we are. <laughs> and we're at a cemetery. We're at a cemetery. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we're at the South Brisbane Cemetery in Brisbane. Um, we thought this was a well time of year. It's nearly Halloween, so yeah. Um, so that's that's one reason why we're here. But also, I guess things like cemeteries. Yeah. Are, if you're travelling in a motorhome, is every town you go to, there's going to be a cemetery. Yeah, and you know, as some and the some, some people find them morbid, but that's I don't. It. The history. I find them fascinating. And they're full of stories. Like there's tragedies, there's mm. love stories, there's oh. murders, there's you know, you've you've only got to look up on the internet. Yeah. The this center. one's actually got a lot of stuff in it, yeah. which we'll uh, we've got and we've got a book. Yeah. So cemetery highlights. We print it off. And yep. It's got everything in there about all the different sites. Yeah, so, the, the the society, yeah. the friends of uh, South Brisbane yeah. Cemetery publish it, and it's a discovery trail. So it's numbered, and they yep. show you all the different sites and all the points of interest. Yeah. So we're going to take you around, and if you're interested in this sort of stuff, then by all means, like and subscribe. <laughs> if you're not, well, move on. <laughs> but uh, we we enjoy. It's, it's fascinating, and as Sue yeah. said, they're everywhere. So. Yeah. And I'm sure that if you go to a small country town, there'd be history about who, history. who settled yeah. there, pioneers and all that. So we're not going to do hundreds of them. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> Unless it's, you love it's them. certainly something that we want to do yeah. as when we do start our motorhome yeah. travels. Because so. we did one with Tawong Cemetery and it got a, it, it's up around the eight or 900 years. So, and that was done back when we just first started. So, yeah. and we didn't think, uh, I, I, I said, I don't know why we're doing this, but anyway, we did it. <laughs> and uh, just in that cemetery alone, you could spend probably weeks in there because there's just, there's thousands and thousands. This is not as big, but uh, yeah, but very This, interesting. I think, is the oldest cemetery. I think it is, it? yeah. The, I think it's one of the oldest yeah, ones yeah. in Brisbane. I'm not too yeah. sure about Queensland, but yeah. either way, um, yeah, come along, have a, have a look, see what you think. So this is number one yeah, on number one. the Discovery Trail. Yep. And it's it's just to the right of the main gate. What King do they, Angel. they call it the King Angel and it's it's uh, supposed to be the guardian angel of the or considered the guardian angel of the whole cemetery because it's the largest of the angelic statues that are in the cemetery. Yeah. And it's on top of the King family yeah. grave. And it's uh was being made by the Twong masonry firm of a Andrew L. Petrie, so out at the Twong Cemetery, and mm. uh, and the son's in the 1900s. And it's a bit sad. There's a couple of uh, his uh, daughters are in here. So yeah, one's well, three Robert, years. Robert King was um, he was he owned the Junction Hotel at Annerley. Yeah. And he was also the Labor member of the Maranoa, Maranoa. in the Queensland Legisl Legislative Assembly in yeah. 1893. Yeah. Married uh, Jane. Jane Lanier, Lanala in Tamworth, seven children, seven kids, gorgeous. And these two in here is one. One uh, was uh, died in a fire at, at one of the pubs at the believe? Junction Hotel. The and then uh, a few uh, a few Two weeks, weeks later, later he lost one. his four month old and uh, didn't say how she died, but uh, yeah, 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 but and he's signed it off baby. down the bottom. Dadda's babies. Yeah, so that's, that's the really uh, the King Monument, the Angel Monument. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Cool. King's family. Okay, let's go to number two. Yeah. So we're heading off to uh, number two. Yeah. On the the list. Yeah. And this is the Irish Catholic uh, section. Yeah. Yeah, they segregated uh, them off in those days, didn't they? Yeah, they did. So all of the Irish Catholics are are together, and a lot of these ones have the the Celtic cross and also a shamrock on them. Okay, so we'll move on to section three. Section three. It's called Minnow Row and Teardrop. We're now standing on the Minnow Row Avenue, named after Wilhelmina Row, 1831 to 1901. Who was a successful businesswoman. She left Victoria as a single mother and a widow and came to Queensland with the children, where she married Francis Row. Wow. They run the Rose Cafe, which was originally on Queen Street. After her death, her son, William Effrey, Continued the catering establishment in 1903. Signed a 10 year lease in Rose. Oh, there are people who know that Rose building. In 1909, the dining room on the ground floor had seating for 380 guests. Wow. And that's wow. So that's Minna Rose. So a lady, a lady that was uh, a businesswoman. 
Corona. Back then, Corona. <laughs> well, now we're looking for the Mowbray grave. This is actually one with the sarcophagus on top. Oh. So he didn't sound like he wanted to go under the ground. Oh. So it's just here in the wife somewhere, apparently. There it is. Oh, so go down here. here and in. Ah, oh, okay. But he, he didn't want to go under the ground. Okay. <laughs> I just nearly got taken out by the drone. This guy's name is Reverend Thomas oh, Mowbray. Yeah, I was thinking it was that monument just there. No, no, so he's oh, so he's wow. he like he must have been short. <laughs> oh, he's a little sarcophagus. Well, the funny thing is, that going back then, people were a lot shorter. Yeah. Didn't they? So he was born in Scotland in 1812, came out to Australia in 1841, and he's the father of the Presbyterium in Queensland. Had nine kids with Wilhelmina. Jeez, those names are beauties, aren't they? Yeah. And 83 acres in the riverfront land on East Brisbane, Lytton Road. Gee, that'd be worth all right. Through to Logan Road. And uh, he's interred, with Mark was interred in South Brisbane in 89, following the death of Wilhelmina. Mm. North Brisbane closed. Yeah, so there we go. So he's a total of 22 people and 17 monuments were relocated from Paddington to South Brisbane. So that Paddington one was the one at the Lang old Park. Lang Park, wasn't or it? Yeah, the old... they they moved them. Yeah, yeah. So uh, they moved them all out here and said, and this is why you might sometimes see headstones here, which predate the opening of the cemetery. Ah. Oh, of course. There we go. So yeah. they moved the whole lot. They moved the I think the, there, I think the uh, cemetery opened in 18. 70 yeah, memory. it was up, up the front. And this look. guy's like, yeah, 1867. So, yeah, he was brought from... Yeah, the... he was brought from the uh, one at the... For people that know that uh, where the football is at the Suncorp Stadium, used to be called Lang Park, there used to be a cemetery there. And mm -hmm. the cemetery, they moved all of the um, the uh, bodies and uh, the tombstones and the coffins and everything out of that to make mm -hmm. the uh, Lang Park and uh, moved it to all the other cemeteries, so mm. yeah, pretty crazy. Okay, well let's keep going. Yep, let's go. Mm. Oh, just the ones over here that Charlie's like... She's just pointed this out. The trees, they're all forgotten. Poor it's people. Um, it's just like, you know, I mean, that's a weird, weird thing, but you look at some of these, and there's no, this is a really old cemetery, so there's not many, like, flowers or anything on any of these, so most mm. of these people, probably all their relatives have died or moved on, and yeah. I yes, just, this is quite Just eerie, looking at these ones it? here. And they just. Nature's like reclaimed it, hasn't it? Yeah, like there's big trees here, and, but like it's. These, like there's one here where this tree's right on top of the the grave. You wouldn't even know who lives there now, or who's there. Oh, lives yeah. there. That's a bit silly. But then there's just one person in the middle of nowhere. Right here. At our feet. Infant daughter, Daisy Hannay. So she, a little, little girl died. Wow. Only one year old, that one. Oh. And then you see, like, just, just, you know, just, I don't even know. You can't even read that one, but. No. It's just freaky, isn't it? Like, I mean, there's not many people that are actually probably coming to... And then some of them are yeah. just all, like that one there, it's just all... Yeah. Just nothing, it's just well, all... Well, apparently there are no new burials in South Brisbane. No, that's right. Unless, um, and what's the, the reason? only reason that you can use a family plot, but you have to be a direct descendant. Yes. Or a direct descendant of the owner of the plot, so... Ah, there we go. Look what we've just come across. <laughs> Look at this one. I don't know what it is. Oh, here we go. It's like a drag. I don't know whether it's a gargoyle or a dragon. It's Marlin. Whoa. Marlin Pate. Pate, Pate. She must have loved dragons. Adoring mum whose laughter and lo love will be treasured forever. Wow, so she's rel relatively new. That's 2021. Yeah. Goodness. 1954 to uh, 2021. And the dragon. In loving memory. Isn't that amazing? Miles. <laughs> Miles, yeah. Wow. How cool is that? That's amazing. She must have loved dragons, or she might have been into fantasy yeah. reading, or. And she must have had her family must have been here because they've allowed another burial, so she must be. On yeah, so she else's must be that. Yeah. Well. 
What's your last name? Pally. P A. No, I think it's Paffy. P A F. P A F. No, no, Paff. P A double F. Yeah, I was just looking at the ones beside it. Oh, poor little girl. Fourteen. Now that's a 2022, so that's Yay. fairly modern too. There's a few along here that are fairly modern. Well, that's 2019. Mm. Oh, that's pretty interesting, isn't it? Wow. Oh, this is an interesting one. Look at this. Oh, how pretty is that? Wow. Gee. Goodness. 2018, 2018. Oh, they're both the same date. Oh, no. oh, look at that. 24th of the 3rd, they were born, 1938. 2nd of the 7th, 2018. 30th of the 3rd, 16th of the 9th, 2018. Wow. Wow, wow that's, a, that's a nice one. Look at the mosaics in that, beautiful. Wow, so they died just months apart. Months apart, and they were born. Twenty fourth of the third, nineteen thirty eight, oh, and thirtieth of the third. Six days later. <laughs> yeah, six days later. Goodness. So I wonder if they're um, uh, they must be husband and wife. They are, yeah. Oh yeah, look. Adored husband of Therese. Wow. And look at Adored that. Adored wife of Michael. How? And they died like two months apart, and they were oh. born six days apart. I wonder what their story is. Hey? Wow. That's amazing, isn't it? What you'd love to know that, wouldn't you? You'd love to know the, the stories of their life. Yeah, adored know? husband of Teresa and her adored Goodness. wife of Michael. Wow, beautiful! Yeah, some some stuff. Going See, there, there you go, there's a love story. Yeah, oh, might be our love story. I told story. you, yeah. love stories, tragedies, murders, things. mysteries. Cemeteries have got it all, they certainly have. This is the, the Russian <laughs> Orthodox section. Yeah, so the, the, uh, I don't, I won't go into it because there's a whole page, but. Obviously, people know the Orthodox cross, but this is interesting because you'll notice some of, most of the graves are facing this way, you see? Yeah. But uh, they were talking about here they're facing west. They always wanted to face west. So if you notice here, this one's facing the other way. Yeah. It's facing that way. Oh, of course. So there's a few... And there was a reason for that, wasn't there? Because they want to pray... Yeah, even on rows where the other headstones are facing east... This is because of an old orthodox tradition in which the visitors to the graves prefer to face to the east as they pray. Oh, wow. So really it was for the, to the, for the visitors. Yes, so yeah. There's another one up there that's facing this way too. Yeah. This one's facing this way. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, Goodness. Yeah, so that's, that's the Russian orthodox section. That's interesting. It's amazing how they're all in different sections, eh? Hey? Yeah. Yeah. Now we're going to the garden area. So this is the garden area. It's... um. They planted this and it's uh, three garden beds made into a cross. Uh, this, was a, this was unused for several decades before it was recently replanted by the Friends of the South Brisbane Cemetery. There was a shelter shed nearby towards the hill until the 1950s and the graves in that spot date back to the early 1960s. There we go, so that's just, they've just made a little, um, a little, um, Garden bed. Yeah. yeah. So this is number seven. This is number seven. This is the cowrie pine. Yeah. Look at the size of that thing. Which is um. Wow, well, it is big. Yeah. There's not many around now. They were they were nearly uh, forested out of extinction, but there's uh, a few populations of them around Fraser Island, Maryborough, and the Atherton Tablelands. Yeah. Carries the Maori name for. For, oh, I can't even say the name, the great protector of the forest. Mm. And many people think this is the spiritual centre of the, of the cemetery. Yeah, yeah. Apparently they used to um, log these trees and use them for the, the masts of sailing ships. Wow, yeah, because it's... Because they were, grew so straight. And yeah, up to 50 metres in height they can go. Yeah. That one's a decent size. I don't know how tall that one is. Wow. A geath is from the Greek for the coil of thread, a reference to the shape of the male cones of the tree. Okay, so well, there's be... no cones on it today. No, nope, there's no cones. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, so this is, um, it doesn't look very exciting, but <laughs> this section, if you notice yeah. here next to this rubbish bin, there's a tombs tombstone. Yeah. This is where the creek used to run through, and they used to actually, um, they've lost a lot of the um, gullies and the tombstones. 
Wow. Yeah, right yeah, I was just looking at that kookaburra. I'll see if I can zoom there up. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's found something. Yeah. So it makes sense too, because it looks like a creek would have ran down yeah. there. Yeah. And this is where they buried the, the people who... Um, oh, gosh. Government graves. Yeah, government graves. So yeah. people who uh, couldn't afford a burial. This yeah. is where the government put them. Well, as these graves could be used for two or three times, each time with completely unrelated uh, people and often within the space of a few weeks, they did not have the headstones on them. Mm. Other headstones disappeared from this area during the beautification scheme of the 1970s when unsightly or dangerous grave markers were removed with the intention of making the cemetery more park-like. Mm. Uh, an estimated 1,000 headstones were lost from various parts of the South Brisbane cemetery this way. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Like, it, they've, they've tried to... to beautify the area and make it a park but it's not really somewhere you'd want to bring a picnic basket no. and play a game of British no. Bulldog 1, 2, 3 or no. throw a frisbee no. afterwards. No, 100%, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, this poor bug has just ended up in the middle of nowhere because, I mean, it's it's in the street and there's nothing else around. This person's only 25 years old. Yeah, and when was it? Died in 1887. 1887. Mary Ann Hewitt, her yep. name is. Wow. Well, and they're, goodness. it's just out in the middle of no, it's not, not even near anything. This section here is um, where they've buried the people who were hanged or the executed prisoners from Bogger Road, Road Jail. Yeah. Between and 1883 and 1913, uh, 42 people who were hanged. That's nearby wow. Bogger Road Jail, which yeah. is just down the road. Yeah, and they, they have put a, a plot, but they haven't each individually got a headstone, but they did name all the people here on this plaque. Yeah. So there's all the, and that's all, oh look at that, the uh, nationalities. They all died at the gallows in, yeah, in Scotland, Bogorodale. Aboriginal, Aboriginal, England, China, China, England. Wow. Gee whiz. South Sea Islands, Portugal, America, Ireland. <laughs> Gee whiz. Queensland, Queensland. Now this fellow over here. Yeah, he was the last, wasn't he? He, well he had I think over a thousand people at his burial. This one's sort of the exception. He, I think he, did he murder a policeman and, but he apparently... Brutal, ma manage, uh, brutal murder of a station manager and a policeman in yeah. Mitchell. And he, um, he, there was a big public outcry over yeah. the guilty verdict, so... Yeah, and all the front page news. Yeah, and he, he gathered a lot of uh, sympathy from the working class people and yeah, estimated over a yeah. thousand people attended his burial here. The largest for any funeral of an executed prisoner in, in Queensland. Queensland. Unusual for a government owned grave, his family were allowed to erect a cross on his grave. So yeah. there we are. But all look, the rest of them... And then even look down here, I can't, I don't know if you can see yeah. that my shadow's in the way. But his family uh, gathered here. Members of the community gathered here on Sunday, the 12th of January, 2003. Yeah. But then again, there's another um, 42 people under here that have yeah. got no recognition at all. Yeah, they're all uh, just... Yep. Just... Um, Crazy. ...marked on that stone. On that... On that. That's it. Yeah. Oh, goodness. And all apparently right. Queensland was the first state to abolish hanging. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Which we're normally the last ones it? to do anything like that, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> we always yeah, seem to be Queen's, behind the eight ball. We are usually about 20 years behind yeah. all the other states. <laughs> yeah. All right, moving on. So, we're heading down towards... Oh, got to get to the right page now. <laughs> <laughs> you caught me off guard. <laughs> We've done the executed prisoners, so we're now moving down to the war graves. So, oh, look at that, toilets. There's toilets. That's a good idea. And yeah. they're locked. <laughs> <laughs> so just remember, if you're going to come here and you want to go to the toilet, you yeah. know, you're not going to be able to get in. <laughs> <laughs> Bring a set of bolt cutters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're just coming down to the to the left down here and then we it'll take us to the, um, the war graves. Yeah. Wow. It's actually a few little war graves here. They always got the same. They have the the, uh, the emblem, the army, the, the rising army. sun for the army, yes. and yeah, the associated. Yeah, so it's in this area over here, I think. Yeah, so here's some of the the war graves. Yes. Yeah, so. Royal Australian Air Force. There's another one 
over here. Yep. So what's next, Chachi? Okay, we're going to head up up to that big oak tree over there. Wow, look at that. I didn't even see that before. Hi, yellow ribbon around the old oak tree. <laughs> You're going to need a few ribbons to get around that tree trunk. I think so. To tie them end to end. So this next part is actually, um, it's a, um, the, a new cemetery. So we're looking at actually the border between the old cemetery and the new cemetery, don't we? That's right, because they ran out of room and then they had to grant more land, I think. Ah, right. So having a look at the map, I think that's my map. Good. Probably not. <laughs> I'm looking oh, here. On. I thought you were a Boy Scout. Oh, I was, but I was. So were there <laughs> officers? straight ahead so this is a street here mm -hmm. and then there's apparently a road so it must be this one here I'd say. So we must be standing on the border. Yeah so this is the border between the old and the new. Now looking at it uh, the old looks like the new and the new looks like the old. <laughs> so um, look at this tree. This is a ring road around here and the um, The old cemetery on the Chanel Bridge side opened in 1870, which is this, but by early 20th century it was nearly full. It was suggested to be enlarged or else a new one would have to be opened at Wollstone, 20 kilometres away. So they um, opened up this land and uh, yeah, wow. that's extended it. Just go over there so we've got a charchi for scale. I mean, you know how sometimes they use a banana for scale? <laughs> we don't have any spare bananas at the moment, but look at that. Oh, giving it some love. Give it a love. So this is the first grave in the cemetery. Uh, first recorded burial was 74-year-old uh, Jane Hocking of West End. 1870. The cemetery had been reserved in 1866 and officially opened in May 1870. Jane was the mother of Albert John Hockings, one of the original trustees in charge of managing the cemetery. He ran a successful nursing business and one time was the mayor of South Brisbane. Wow. Yeah, and he's and he's also interred in this grave. Wow. The statue was created by Mason John Simmons, who was also a botanist and noted for his floral motus on his monuments. Ah, there yeah. we are. There's the floral. It's very pretty. A few of these petals can be seen lying at her feet. Ah, these put the petals down the bottom. Oh, there, at the top. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So that's the first grave of this cemetery, which is mm. it's interesting. We're in a history right under a beautiful big oak, uh, big oak tree. Oak tree. Oh, fig tree, sorry. Fig tree. Fig tree. Yeah. This is kind of reminds me of being on a treasure hunt following all these finding them all directions and yeah. yeah so this is actually uh people that don't know brisbane this is a brisbane river down here so um this is a nice place to yeah. to be buried isn't it, Look, it is. nice shady tree yeah it's hard finding these things it's, they give you a picture. <laughs> it says it looks like this, and you go, yeah, no, right, that's, eh? That's not it, I don't think. So Henry O'Reilly, it's square. Oh. With a top on it, so. Oh, what about this big one? Just here. Ah, that could be it. That's. Is it got like a pile, like a pile yeah, on top? That's, that's massive. It. Look yep, at that's it. it. Ah, there we go. Lucky we walked down a bit further. I wouldn't have seen it behind the tree. Yeah. So Henry O'Reilly. Oh no, hang on. This is oh. Sheila Francis Nason. Well, that's funny because that's the same. Um... No, here it is, though. She's buried. Here it is. Here. Oh, okay. So we're right. It's a Riley grave, so there's more people on it. Oh, look at this! I nearly trod on it. Oh. This is someone's tombstone from. 
1880. My goodness. This fellow was born 1824 Sorry. to 1877, and um, he was captain. He, he captained a number of Australasian United Steam Navigation Company ships wow. before taking command of the Brisbane branch of the uh, AUSN agency. He died in Tunab, Tunabin, home in Hill End, after a long straddle, struggle with cancer. His monument is one of the most impressive in the cemetery and is rich in maritime history, including naval flags and anchor, and what may appear at first glance to be a column on top is actually a steamship funnel. Oh. So that's a sta steamship funnel on top. Steamship funnel. Wow. With a, with a coil of rope around the base, even without the inscription telling us about his work, it would be obvious that this was a grave of someone who had a maritime career. Yeah. So, oh, look at that. It's got anchor. the chain around yeah. me. And if you have, you have to come back, you can actually see the... Um, well, the rape around the bottom of the uh, thing. Oh, of course. Yeah. There it is, around the bottom of the funnel. Yeah. Oh, what do you know? Pretty cool. Pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that's cool. Chachi? I enjoyed it. It was good. It's um, I mean, won't interest everyone, but I think you know a few people would be interested. But there's so many other uh, big like monuments in that place. I guess that's that that was what was in the book. Yeah, but there were so many other points oh, of yeah. interest that it's uh, it's all history, and uh, you know the sad bits in there, and and interesting bits, yeah. and uh, you know some incredible. Yeah. It's just it's just and it's it's a historical site now yeah. too, so it'll never be taken away. Yeah. But uh, we're sitting in the middle of, uh, I think it's the Lady Chanel Bridge. Uh, this yeah. is the one that leads over to the uh, Queensland University. Yeah, so <laughs> that was great. So travel, if you're travelling around in your motorhome. Yeah, there's, you know, I, there, there's so much history there in the South Brisbane one, but there were so many graves. But can you imagine the stories that would be in some of those remote Oh yeah, areas, yeah, the towns, yeah. and 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 that sort of And like thing. families, we've been to a few uh, 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 like pioneers uh, graveyard, like uh, O'Reilly's Bernard O'Reilly's, who uh, mm. who founded O'Reilly's um, na natural. He, yeah, he found that the plane crash. The plane, yeah, the Stinson wreck. Yeah, so we went yeah. there, and he's actually buried down in this other little town down yeah. near uh, Bay Desert. So mm -hmm. uh, we're looking forward to that, and uh, we, we like we, yeah. we're going to show you all the weird and wonderful yeah, things, but so we're also, we're not going to show you that same thing yeah. over and over so, again yeah so don't underrate cemeteries as a, yeah. as a destination yeah. in your travels yeah because uh, they are underrated i think oh yeah yeah there's, there's so much so much history in those but we that's the things we look for yeah. we, we just like and, the curiosity you know, people might think it's morbid but those graves are there to remember people and yeah. and you know unless people go and actually read them and have a look then no one's remembering them that's right yeah so Anyway. So maybe look in your own backyard and you'll yeah. see all these things. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, what? and what? happy Halloween. Oh yes, Ooh. happy Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Travel now.